the problem is, especially today, um, and Christ, I could open up a can of worms, but um, people who have a black belt are uh, uh, an authority in the subject of and only of jiu-jitsu. But it's also like when celebrities get a talking point, like, look, listen, you're supposed to make people laugh. You're supposed to make people cry. You're supposed to go on screen and be awesome and pretend to be something. Like, go and fucking act. Your opinion shouldn't make any difference about what the political system is. Um, and so being a black belt, it accidentally gives you a platform to voice your own opinions. Mm-hmm. Um, also we're not all of great character. Uh, And so you got to like remember that a black belt is just like, yeah, I've put 16 years into jujitsu. That means I know what I'm talking about in jujitsu. The rest of my opinions are just, they they should relatively just be like anybody else, you know? Yeah. I think nobody takes them that way. No, no, because people assume, I think part of that, that could be a cultural thing here in the States specifically because martial arts has been like, you know, through those seven, it was like Chuck Norris, Bruce Lee, uh, Steven Seagal, like they kind of colored what martial arts, which essentially at that point was all like called karate, but, or called Kung Fu, but yeah. it was none of those things. Um, they kind of, especially Bruce Lee did like the whole martial arts as like a philosophy and not just a physical practice. And then kids are thrown into like karate schools because it's how you learn discipline. And then the assumption there, which is implicit and maybe not necessarily sold straight up as marketing, but it's implicit is that if you do it long enough, then you have those things. Then you have a good philosophy on what it means to be human. And you have a good philosophy on how to apply discipline to your life and to other people's lives and to like be a good example or authority or, role model in some sense where it's not necessarily the case. Like you could just put your entire life into being really good at physicality and not have those other things. Absolutely. Well, I, I, well you do actually get those other things. You do actually get like the discipline. You do get the character development. You do get uh, a notion and sense of what's right and what's wrong, but you, you can't fix the, and you can't do anything about the, the fund, the foundation of all that stuff. So you mm. put, so you, everybody has this human foundation of what uh, your parents put into you. And this is actually probably a good start to the, yeah. <laughs> into the podcast. Oh, this is all going if, in. If there. you're all going in there, yeah, this is um, all going in there. Y- you have a, uh, you have an early foundation of a uh, sense of right and wrong, and most of the time, your parents have instilled it in you, or your life experiences as a, as a child have put those into you, um, and then. That's that's your base foundation. And then all of this, the martial arts aspect, piles on top of that, right? So you can have this sense of right and wrong. You can have this sense of um, of, of uh, inner strength and integrity and all this. You have all this wisdom. And for sure, martial arts will give it to you, especially jiu-jitsu will give it to you. But if this underlying foundation is rotten, then all of it's just kind of a show. Mm. And um, a lot of times in any authoritative situation um and and uh i go to uh, the the shining example is like the bikram yoga thing which can no longer be called bikram right it's hot yoga yeah. because of all of the because cult. of who bikram was yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> right all of the cult the cult underlying and all of that stuff just came crumbling down you know that guy had all of the wisdom all of the charisma all of the integrity but the underlying character that was developed was soft or broken Mm. and and ultimately corrupted everything from the bottom up uh and that happens when people see you as an authority figure um it happens in anytime someone comes to you for knowledge they immediately put you as a better person than themselves and i think that's what helps people learn maybe um so it puts you in a really uncomfortable position sometimes because there's a lot of people who are in positions of power and deep down they're garbage yeah you know and or, or just on the surface are straight up garbage and yeah just, you know, <laughs> i think that that presents a couple different issues right it presents like the problem of uh coming to terms with the idea that someone who may not be a good person has something of value to teach you yeah and then also the other side of it of being able to let go of the pedestal that you put someone on in order to absorb the things that might be positive and like segment those things in your mind of how you interact with other people. And yeah, I, that, I think that's a challenge for both directions. Like that's a challenge for the, the, the learner as well as the teacher. Yeah. Yeah.